Welcome back to another video from Provail Tech. Today we're going to be taking a look at Dado RMM and a new integration. As you may have guessed from the title, we're going to be taking a look specifically at Dado's newest integration that was marked for release at this year's Kaseya DadoCon, Microsoft 365. Let's go ahead and hop into here and get started. When logged into Dado RMM, on the left hand side we should see an area for Microsoft 365. If you don't see it here, you can go ahead and click Setup and then Integrations and click on Microsoft 365 from here. When you click on the Microsoft 365 within the portal, it'll bring you to the configuration of the integration. From here, it gives us a brief synopsis of what the integration does. So we can see the Microsoft 365 integration provides you with multi-tenant functionality for your M365 tenant directly from Data RMM. Upon connecting your Microsoft CSP tenant, Data RMM will automatically fetch all your client tenants and users for you to manage in one place. Benefits include quick access to user data and common actions such as resetting a user's password. Before we can begin with the integration, there are a few prerequisites that are needed. First and foremost is that this Microsoft 365 integration must be made with a Microsoft Azure account with Cloud Solution Provider or CSP. Datto recommends setting up a Datto specific account for this, such as Datto integration at your domain. This recommendation is to ensure the integration bypasses conditional access policies. The integrating service must be a global administrator for initial setup. Global administrator rights are not required perpetually, however, so Datto recommends leveraging privileged identity management or PIM, so the account is only eligible for the role when required. The authenticating user must also use Microsoft Multi-Factor Authentication, MFA, which can be enforced through conditional access or per-user MFA settings. MFA cannot be performed through a third party, such as Duo. And while MFA cannot be provided through a third party for this user, MFA through a third party application is adequate for other users in the account. Additionally, the user must be excluded from any policies enforcing sign-on restrictions outside of MFA. And once you have the account set up, you want to go ahead and configure these settings for the admin agent through Microsoft Partner Center or Microsoft Entra. We're going to show you that here. Within the Microsoft Partner Center, you'll see under the user management, the setting we want to take a look at here will say assist your customer as admin agent. You want to make sure that is set up. Once completed, work can be started on the GDAP relationship configuration. So we'll see that here. This will allow the authenticating user to have a granular delegated admin privileges, or GDAP, and you will need to make sure that this relationship exists for all the client tenants. Each GDAP relationship must have a security group assigned, and the integrating service account must be part of that security group. The group can be granted permissions for one of the following roles. So we see here, global administrator. The other two allowed would be privileged role admin or cloud application admin. Once you have all of these prerequisites completed, we can now turn on the integration. From here, you will need your tenant ID once you go ahead and click turn on. We'll see here the tenant ID will allow you to be filled in there. If you don't know where your tenant ID is at, you can find that on the overview page. We'll also go ahead and click uh, a link below uh, if you don't know where to find that at. We can see here the tenant ID. That tenant ID, you want to go ahead and paste that onto your integration and then go ahead and click save. Once saved, you will see it transition into an integrating state. This will then go ahead and prompt you to sign into a Microsoft account. You will go out, sign into the one that you use for the tenant there. And once signed in, you will see an additional pop-up here. This additional pop-up is going to be permissions required. Some of them will be for the Datto API. And once this is configured, we will go ahead and click accept. You'll then go back to your Microsoft 365 integration, and you'll see that it'll now show saved and authenticated on the integration. From here, if we go ahead and click on that second tab where it says tenants, it'll then pull in all of the tenants by default for the CSP account that you pulled in. For by default, when you initially set it up here, everything is going to be deactivated. So you want to make sure that after the initial setup, you go in here and you manually sync all of the objects because these will be deactivated on the first setup. To do that, you can go ahead and click individually, these check marks here, or click at the very top if you want all of them. You'll then see it'll select all of them. To sync, all we do is just very simply go ahead and click that sync button. And upon doing so, 
it'll have you confirm just to make sure that you want to do it for the ones you selected go ahead and click confirm and once you complete you'll then see that the status will no longer show deactivated and it'll show synced for all of the clients that you have chosen to sync on there and after that the configuration is complete so that's how you set up and configure the Microsoft 365 integration. Be sure to stay tuned, however, as we will release more content covering Data RMM along with other pieces of this integration. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.